says complete summation n starting from 0 to infinity of 2n plus 1 factorial all over n factorial all squared, then x raised to the power 2n. The first thing you need to take note of is that you will have to be sure whether this may converge or not. Or you have to first find the radius as well as the interval of convergence. If you recall that um, the radius of convergence is given as limit as n goes to infinity of a n plus 1 x all over a n. So I want to compute the interval of convergence immediately. Well, what is a n? A n is what is here. So a n is this. A n of x is equal to 2 n plus 1 factorial all over n factorial all squared, then I have s raised to power 2n, right? So, an plus 1 will then be equal to, anywhere you see n, just replace with n plus 1. So, we have 2n plus 1 plus 1 factorial over n plus 1 factorial, then everything squared, as well as s raised to power 2n plus 2, because by the time you put n plus 1 here, the 2, we open the bracket, you have 2n plus 2. So now 1 over r will be equal to limit as n goes to infinity. a n plus 1, that is 2n plus 3 factorial because this is 2n plus 2 plus 1. All over n plus 1 factorial, all square. Then I have x raised to power 2n plus 2. Multiply by 1 over a n, you know, a n plus 1 divide a n. So 1 over a n will just become n factorial square over 2 n plus 1 factorial x raised to power 2 n. x raised to power 2 n will be at the denominator, and that is what I have. So that at the end of the day, this is limit as n goes to infinity. Of now, this one is same as 2, 2n plus 3, 2n plus 2. Then I have 2n plus 1 factorial over. Then this one will also become n plus 1 all square, n factorial all, all square. So, at the numerator, here yeah, I have n factorial all square over then this is 2n plus 1 factorial x raised to power 2 and then this x raised to power 2n plus 2 is still there so that's what i have so at the end of the day i have 1 over r to be equal to now by the time i factorize and uh, clear the fraction this one 2 can come out so that you will be left with 2n plus 1 then 2n plus 3, then 2n plus 1, this we go with this, s raised to power 2n, you will just be left with s raised to power 2. And factorial all square will also cancel out. So you will be left with 2n plus 1, then 2n plus 3 at the numerator, then x square is still there, over, now I have n plus 1 all square at the denominator. So I have n plus 1, all square as the denominator n plus one we also cancel n plus one so that this will be one over r will be equal to limit as n goes to infinity of i will have two two n plus three over this is just raised to power two now over n plus one s raised to power two that is what i'm going to have now by the time you obtain the limit as n goes to infinity of this um, you just need to divide through limit as n goes to infinity. By the time you open this bracket, you have 4n plus 6. Then divide both numerator and denominator with n. So you will be left with 4 plus 6 over n, all over 1 plus 1 over n, s raised to power 2. Now, this will give me 1 over r to be equal to 4x squared. Because by the time you find this limit, you have 4 as the answer, then x squared. Now, to get the, that means the radius of convergence 1 over 4x squared, 
But this be a decent power. By the time you solve this inequality, 4 s squared minus 1 is greater than 0. You can do a uh, difference of 2 square or um, you can just draw the you can just draw this graph and check where it is greater than zero. You will see that it will belong to this interval. So that means this integral or uh, this summation will converge on this interval. Now let us compute y is equal to I will let y to be equal to summation of n starting from zero to infinity of 2n plus 1 factorial all over n factorial all square x raised to power 2n. Uh, so that I will not make things cumbersome, I will let bn to just be equal to this. I will let bn to be equal to 2n plus 1 factorial all over n factorial all square. Now, that means that y will be equal to summation of n starting from 0 to infinity of bn x raised to power 2n. So what I will do first is I will differentiate y prime. Differentiating with respect to x, this will be equal to summation of n starting from 0 to infinity. I will differentiate x here. This one will become 2n bn x 2n minus 1. Just a normal differentiation. Now y prime would then be equal to now when n is zero, if you put n to be zero here, everything here will be zero because I have two n. Two times zero b not s raised to power minus one. That is zero. So that means the first term of this series is zero. So I can write summation of n starting from one to infinity of two n b n s n minus one because the first term of the when n is zero when n is equal to zero it is obviously zero so i can start from one now what will happen next is that i want to change back i want to change back um, the the counter to zero you know when n is one now it will be two times one b one s two two times one minus one i want to change this back to zero i want to make it start from n starting from zero that is you know n starts from one now but i want to make it to start from zero so infinity then this one will become n plus one because when you put n to be one here you know you have two times one b one x raised to power two minus one so but if you now want it to start from zero that means you will add one you will you will, this um, all the ends will become plus 1, bn plus 1, x raised to power 2, n plus 1, minus 1. Because if when it is like this, by the time you put n to be 0 now, in this case, then you have 2 times 0 plus 1, it is still 1. 0 plus 1, you will still have b1, then 0 plus 1 is 1, you still have 2 minus 1, which is the same thing with this. I have not changed anything, that is my point. So y prime is equal to submission. Let these two come out. I have two summation of n starting from zero to infinity of n plus one, b n plus one, s raised to power. This one become two n plus one. At the end of the day, now let's see what will happen. Of n starting from zero to infinity of n plus one, b n plus one, s two n plus one. Now let's come here. Let's come to this place. Or uh, what is bn? bn is actually equal to 2n plus 1 factorial over n factorial all square. Now, let us, what will be bn plus 1? bn plus 1 will actually be 2n plus 3 factorial all over n plus 1 factorial all square. Now, this is bn plus 1 to be equal to, this will be, 2n plus 3, 2n plus 2, then I have 2n plus 1 factorial over, then this one will become, this one will become n plus 1 all square, n factorial all square. So bn plus 1 will be equal to, 2 is common here, I will have 2n plus 1, then this is 2n plus 3, 
over, then this is n plus 1 all squared, then I have 2n plus 1 factorial over n factorial all squared. So, bn plus 1, all these ones, obviously, n plus 1, we cast one of the n plus 1, so that I will have 2, 2n two plus 3 over n plus 1, then this one, this 2n plus 1 factorial over n factorial all square is actually the n. 2n plus 1 factorial over n factorial all square. So this is actually the n. By the time I cross multiply, I have n plus 1, bn plus 1 to be equal to 2, 2n plus 3, bn. So now, why am I doing this? The reason why I have done this is because I want to find an expression for n plus 1, bn plus 1, and which I have got it already. Let's continue. So let's continue. I have y prime. Obviously, I have done this here. Now, n plus 1, bn plus 1 is equal to 2, 2n plus 3, bn. So put it here. I have y prime to be equal to 2, summation of n starting from 0 to infinity. Now, all these ones, replace it with 2, 2n plus 3, bn, then I have x raised to the power 2n plus 1. So, by the time you open the bracket here, we have y prime to be equal to 2, summation of n starting from 0 to infinity, or 4n, bn, x raised to the power 2n plus 1. That is what you are going to have first. Then I also have I also have plus summation of n starting from zero to infinity of six b n s raised to the power two n plus one. That is what I'm going to have next. Now, if you look at it very well, y prime from what I have differentiated first is equal to summation of n starting from zero to infinity of two n b a s raised to power two n minus one. So that is what I'm going to do in this case. So I will have y prime to be equal to 2. Now, I will factorize 2 out so that I have solution of n starting from 0 to infinity of 2n dn. So I want to have s raised to power 2n minus 1. So s raised to power 2n minus 1. That means minus 1. That means um, I will have to add plus 2. Minus 1 plus 2 will give me plus 1. So, at the end, this one too becomes, see, summation of n starting from 0 to infinity of bn s raised to power 2n plus 1. So, y prime is equal to 2. Bring this s square here. If you bring out s square, this one will become summation of n starting from 0 to infinity of 2n dn s raised to the power 2n minus 1 plus bring out x here. This one will become 6s summation of n starting from 0 to infinity of bn s raised to the power 2n. I have not changed anything. If you multiply s squared to this, you will get 2n plus 1. If you multiply s to this, you will get 2n plus 1 as well. So, at the end of the day, y prime equal to, I have 2s squared. Now, all this thing here, uh, summation of n starting from 0 to infinity of all this, summation of n starting from 0 to infinity of 2 and bn of this is actually y prime. So, I will replace this with y prime plus 6s. Then, summation of n starting from 0 to infinity of bn s raised to the power 2a, bn s raised to the power 2 and is actually y. So, I will write this to be y as well. So, uh, we have y prime to be equal to 4x squared y prime plus 12xy. So, actually, we have generated a first order differential equation now. I'm going to have 1 minus 4x squared y prime to be equal to 12xy. So, I have a first order differential equation. And uh, it is variable separable. So I'm going to solve this first order differential equation to get y, and that will be the answer of the summation.
1 minus 4x squared y prime to be equal to 12xy. So I'm going to separate the variables. This will be y prime over y to be equal to 12x over 1 minus 4x squared. So I will integrate both sides. By the time I integrate both sides here, this one will give me log of y or lean of y to be equal to, if you integrate this one, this one is actually 12 multiplied by minus 1 over 8 log 1 minus 4 s squared plus c. Now I have log y to be equal to, this is actually minus 3 over 2 log 1 plus 4 x squared plus c. So that means that, or let me write the constant to be log k, so that by the time I take the log reading, so if you take the log of both sides, then this is actually log y to be equal to log k 1 plus 4 x squared raised to the power minus 3 over 2, so that y will be equal to k 1 plus 4 x squared minus 3 over 2. So now the last thing to do is to just find k. So put x to be 0, then we obtain k. So when x is 0 here, when x is 0, from here, you know I allow y to be equal to solution of n starting from 0 to infinity of bn x raised to power 2n. So what is bn? If I find b naught here, bn is all this one. So if I find b naught, b naught will be 0 plus 1 factorial all over 0 factorial. 0 factorial all square. So b naught will actually give me 1. That will be the, this one will give me 1 actually. So what is y naught? So y is equal to, this one will be b naught x raised to power 0. Anything raised to power 0 is 1. So that's y naught b naught plus. Then everything will be 0 because s is 0. When you put s to be 0, all these ones will become 0. But you just be left with b naught. So that means when s is 0, y is b naught. And what is b naught? b naught is 1. So when s is 0, from the summation, y is equal to 1. So the same thing happens here. When s is 0, y is equal to 1. So y is equal to k, 1 plus 0 raised to power negative 3 over 2. And this is equal to 1. 1 raised to power anything is actually 1. So k is 1. So the value of the constant is 1. Therefore, summation of n starting from 0 to infinity of 2n plus 1 factorial all over n factorial all squared then I have x raised to power 2n is actually equal to 1 plus 4x squared raised to the power of negative 3 over 2 thank you very much